everyone. Well, it's always a pleasure for me when I speak to somebody who is enthusiastic about what they do. And I believe that's exactly the way my guest is today. My guest is Corey Castle. Welcome to the show, Corey. Thank you, Nancy. I'm very excited to be here. I'm excited you're here too. Now you are the owner of uh, Corey Castle Productions. Uh, sorry, yeah, Corey Castle Productions, correct? That's right. I just want to start off by uh, reading this quote building community and friendship with events and travel. Now that's your quote, right? Yep, yep. So tell me about that, why that quote? Well, Nancy, uh, that is the quote that I, that I pretty much lived my life by. I was taught at a very early age the importance of not only being a part of a community, but engaging and contributing to community. So that is a value that I've, that I've had with me since a very early age. And as I grew and, and became an adult, uh, two of my greatest passions are travel and events. And so we've been able to create a business where we focus on building community by producing events mm -hmm. and taking people on wonderful travel adventures. Very good. Now you're in Mission BC, right? That's correct. Yeah. Born and raised. Born and raised. Yeah. I saw a post of uh, something to do with music bingo. So is that yes. for events? Yes. Yeah, so that's uh, uh, on the event side of what we do. Uh, one of the events that we produce in-house is music bingo. Now, I don't know if you've ever heard of music bingo before, Nancy, no. <laughs> but it has been a crowd favorite in pubs across uh, the country for about 20 years. And what we do is we replace the numbers on a bingo card with titles of a song. So instead of calling a number, we play a clip of a song, and if that song appears under the B-I-N-G or O, you get to mark it down. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I think that would be so much fun. It is a fantastic activity. Um, as I said, it's been uh, a crowd favorite in pubs and restaurants across the country for years. And then in 2020, when the pandemic forced the closure of in-person events and the pubs, we were able to bring it online. And we, we raised uh, almost $200,000 uh, on Zoom music bingo fundraisers that we did throughout the pandemic. So we're really excited to be back in person. And we are launching... Uh, uh, music bingo every Friday night at the historic Dudney pub. Um, uh, and that starts on April 8th. Wow, that's really cool. And that again is in Mission, right? Yeah, the, the, the Dudney pub is just, uh, it's on Route 7, just about 10 minutes uh, east of, uh, of downtown Mission. And uh, it's, a, it's a crowd favorite pub. And we're so excited to be there every Friday night with Music Bingo. <laughs> Sounds like so much fun. It really does. So what are some of the other events that you, uh, you launch or uh, prepare and get, you know, out there. Sure. Well, well, actually, uh, we started Corey Castle Productions when we were invited to uh, host a weekly drag show uh, at the Heritage Grill in uh, downtown New Westminster. Uh, and so we've been producing drag shows now since about 2009 was the first one that we did. And, uh, and then we took the show to the stage in Mission. The stage was an events and entertainment venue that I ran in the old Bellevue Hotel in Mission. And we did monthly drag shows there uh, that saw, you know, uh, crowds of 200 plus people every month coming in to enjoy the art of drag in Mission. Well, that's so good. I just want to say to everybody, like I've been to one here in Chilliwack. And if you've never been to a drag show, I suggest to just go. It is so much fun. And those uh, uh, drag performers, they're artists, they're, they're costumes, their makeup. It is just phenomenal, right? Absolutely, Nancy. And, you know, um, drag has been around for, for decades, um, but always kind of underground and never really coming out into the mainstream right. until, of course, 
uh, a little show called RuPaul's Drag Race, uh, which has taken the world by storm and has brought the art of drag out of the dingy bars and into the mainstream. Mm -hmm. um, and so we are very excited. Uh, uh, in March uh, here, we were invited to launch a new drag show in Mission at the Mission City Conference Center. Uh, we're calling it Missions Got Drag. <laughs> a little play on the fact that Mission, of course, is well known for the drag races, the drag strip um, that's here in Mission. And so a uh, little play on words there, Missions Got Drag. We, we launched our first one in March, and uh, they've invited us back May 7th. We will be back at the Mission City Conference Center with Missions Got Drag. It's going to be a fabulous show of glitz and glamour. And you're right, the art of yeah. drag. Yeah. And some of the uh, the ones at least I saw here is, like, first of all, some of them are in the heels like this high. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they walk on them. And they're so tall. <laughs> Uh, yeah, what, one of the defining moments of my career was the first time that we had a drag show here in Mission, as I said, back in 2009 at the Bad Dog Grill. And uh, there was a moment when I looked out onto the street in downtown Mission, and there were seven foot drag queens <laughs> on the street mingling with the folks of Mission as they went about their day. It was an amazing moment for me. And mm -hmm for drag in the Fraser Valley. And, and I can see it going over. So there's, there's something quite unique, I think, about Mission. It's not a big place, right? But there's something quite unique about it. Well, um, you know, uh, the, what makes Mission unique, I think, is one of our best kept secrets, Nancy. Um, so I hope we're not letting the cat out of the bag here. <laughs> but, but just the fact that Mission has embraced, you know, uh, uh, traditionally a, a mill town, uh, a town that, uh, that celebrates, you know, drag racing, you know, drag cars, yeah. has also embraced drag queens and drag shows. And it's really, to me, a testament of the type of people who are attracted to Mission. Mm -hmm. um, people from, from all backgrounds, cut from all sorts of cloth, and are open not only to sharing, but to receiving what others have to share. So it's a community, uh, a very unique community, I would say of unique individuals mm -hmm. who are open to learning and sharing each other's culture. It's just a wonderful place to be. Yeah, yes. Yeah. So I've interviewed your mayor and, and it was really, you know, it was so easy to connect with him. Um, he seems to be that type of person too, very open. You know, and, and I think that that's a great type, type of mirror to have for any place, right? Absolutely. Uh, we, we are very, very lucky with the leadership that we have in our community. Very good. Now, you, now you talked about your events and, and travel. So how does the travel come into any of all of this? Well, Nancy, um, I caught the travel bug again at, a, at an early age, yeah. um, having, having spent, you know, growing up. Uh, uh, traveling around North America in a sidecar and uh, and having all these great experiences. I, I, I went to Europe uh, as uh, when I graduated. I did the, you know, the backpacking in Europe when I graduated and I caught the bug. But what really launched my passion for travel was when I was introduced to the beautiful culture and the people in Japan. Um, I married um, my husband, uh, Yosuke, uh, who was born in Tokyo. Uh, we were married now, uh, it's over 10 years. Okay. And throughout the time that we've known each other, I've had the opportunity to spend a lot of time in Japan. In fact, Yosuke and I have a home in the north of Japan in a very, uh, a very sparsely populated, not often visited area called Akita. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and we, have, we, we, we've just fallen in love with the area. And so what we are now passionate about is building up a tour business where we can bring people from North America or all over the world, and we can introduce them to this part of Japan that people don't often think about. Mm -hmm. You know, it's countryside, there's not a lot of people, um, you know, they kind of call it the Wild West of Japan. Mm -hmm. And we are so fired up about this, this part of the world. Um, we did launch a tour company in January of 2020. Right. 
And then in March 2020, it all came crashing down. Yeah. So we're still waiting for Japan to recover from the Omicron variant that, that has unfortunately spread quite rapidly through the country. Mm -hmm. And once Japan is open and it's safe for us to take people there again, um, we're so looking forward to sharing our love of Japan with others. What a marvelous idea. I love it so much. Do you speak Japanese? Uh, skoshi. Uh, now, now, skoshi is a word for a very little amount, very little bit. Um, uh, it's an interesting phenomenon. One of the beautiful things about the people in Japan, uh, when you're there as a, as a, obviously a foreigner, I'm not from Japan, um, and they, they, they really want to learn to speak English. So even though we have a home in Japan where not a lot of people speak English, uh, when we're there, they they try their hardest. They want to practice their English. Plus, Yosuke's family, they're all English speakers. They're all bilingual. So I've been lucky enough to be able to spend a lot of time in Japan and not have to learn Japanese. Now, that being said, <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I do take online Japanese language courses from UBC, and, uh, and I've got some apps on my phone. So every... Every day I am studying, um, but uh, you know I'm getting a little bit uh, long in the tooth, so to speak. And learning a language has been a little bit difficult, but we're getting there. More challenging, yeah. Is it a difficult language to learn? Uh, I, 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 well, I find it difficult, mm -hmm. and I and I'm told that it for English speaking people it is one of the more difficult. Of course, they have their own alphabet. In fact. They use three different alphabets in their language, mm. so it's not just learning one; it's learning all three. Oh. Uh, and then it, it's a it's a language where the structure of the language is very different than English. So it's 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 you know it's not just adapting English to another language; yeah. it's a whole new set of rules, and and it, it I find it very difficult. It's like Chinese that has four levels, and it's like oh my gosh. <laughs> Absolutely, and, and of course. Japanese language takes a lot from Chinese language as well. So you're almost learning, you know, a couple of languages at once. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I want to keep talking about this, but, I, but at the same time, I want to know more about what you're doing, like what events you have coming up other than, you know, the, the, the music bingo is going on, right? You yep. said every Friday. Yeah. Right? And in May, you're going to have another drag show. That's right. So anything else happening? Well, we, in addition to producing some of our own events, uh, we also work with other organizations and we support other events. So, so my husband and I will spend uh, quite a lot of time this year at the Thunderbird uh, Equestrian Show Park in Langley. Um, we support the hospitality end of things there. Um, so we'll spend about seven or eight weeks um, uh, helping to support that event. Um, and then, and then I, 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 do, I do personal and private contract work as well. So I've got a couple of weddings that I'm going to work with this year. Uh, there's a couple of dance competitions uh, that I'm going to be involved in. And, uh, you know, anything that the community dreams up, uh, that we can be involved in. And, and, and if we're invited, we definitely will. Uh, one thing that we did quite a lot of at the stage that I do want to bring back is our murder mysteries. Mm -hmm. um, we used to hold a murder mystery about four or five a year. And of course, with COVID, you know, we weren't, we haven't been doing anything. Yeah. Um, we've got the drag shows back now, the music bingo is coming back. The next will be our murder mysteries. So stay tuned for those announcements. Right, yeah. And one of the things, because I did a lot of, um, I was involved with uh, the vagina mon monologue, monologues for a number of years in Mission. And I just find that the audiences there are so open yes. for, for, you know, wanting to participate or be there to see whatever it is that you're, you happen to be showing, right? Absolutely. Again, getting back to the, the people of mission and how and how open they are to sharing and experiencing different cultures um, and 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 the opportunities that we have to bring all of this different type of entertainment to our community. It's just phenomenal. It is phenomenal. Yeah. Now, if, we, if people want to get a hold of you now, I know you're on Facebook, but do you also have a, a website or a, a, an email address that they could use? Sure, I do have a website. Uh, it's corycastle.com, C-O-R-Y-C-A-S-S-E-L.com. Um, and corycastle.com kind of, it, it 
kind of tells the story of my life and what I do. So you can definitely get a, a hold of me there. Of course, on the event side, um, on Facebook at Corey Castle Productions is where you can stay right up to date. In fact, we just posted this morning about our, our new music bingos at uh, the Duty Pub. Uh, and then on the travel side of things, again, uh, Corey Castle Travel on, uh, on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, you can see uh, we post a lot about the area of Japan where we spend a lot of our time up in the northern part, Akita. Uh, so you can check us out on Facebook, check us out at CoreyCastle.com and uh, please reach out to us and let us know uh, if there's something that we can do to help you uh, or, or your organization. If you've got some ideas, if you wanna build community, um, we would love to hear from you. Now, you mentioned some of the events that you've been asked to help with, and I just want to know, um, and I'm just trying to remember the question one. Well, like, what do you do? What is it that, how do you help them? So um, we're a full service production company. So we do everything from um, the actual organizing and the planning of the event oh. um, all the way up to the presentation. So, so I do a lot of public speaking as well. Um, so I, I'll host the event. I do a lot of MC work. Uh, so I, I, I can come in either as an MC for the event, or we can go right from the very beginning of the planning stages and plan the event right from the beginning all the way through to the final curtain call. Is that in conjunction with your husband? Yes, actually. Um, um, uh, my business has my name on it. Uh, but uh, you might notice that I were, use the word we a lot. Yes. Um, I could not do what I do on my own. And I have an amazing support system, not only with my husband, who is right next to me every step of the way, but our group of friends and family that have really bought into the concept of working, spending our lifetime building community and bringing people together in community. So uh, I've got a great gang of friends uh, who show up um, anytime they're asked and even when they're not um, to, to help out, to pitch in and to make things uh, work the way they're supposed to so that everybody has a wonderful time. Right, and I just wanna encourage people, you don't have to be living in mission to go there and enjoy some of the events. Right. So true, Nancy. Actually, you know, with the drag show that we had in March, it reminded me at the reach that we have. You know, um, we work really hard to try to bring entertainment opportunities to the Fraser Valley that mo that a lot of people drive to Vancouver to seek out. Mm -hmm. And what we're finding now is we have people from Vancouver, uh, downtown Vancouver, the North Shore, Burnaby, Surrey, uh, Maple Ridge, even Chilliwack. People are coming to Mission for entertainment, and we are so excited. Please come and, and enjoy our little community. Uh, actually, the drag show is in the hotel, in the Best Western Hotel, and we can even get you a deal on a room uh, if, if you've got a ticket to the drag show. Bonus. Yeah. Definitely. Absolutely. Bonus. Oh my gosh, that's so much fun. Well, um, I think we're probably just about out of time, but because I think we covered everything, unless there's something else you want to add. Uh, no, I'm just excited to be here, Nancy, on your show and to let the people, uh, uh, your, your viewers know all the wonderful things that are happening in Mission. And what I will say is uh, I'm also involved with a magazine called What's on Mission. And it's a community events, entertainment and business magazine where you can find everything going on in our great community at whatsonmission.ca. Uh, and you can also find them on Facebook. Everything going on in Mission is there. I work closely uh, with those folks. And, uh, and so please uh, check us out. Check us out, yes. Thank you, Corey. And Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody, for watching us. So, so go on Facebook. You can find, I'll, I'll include his, um, his website. So you'll be able to find him there or on Facebook and, and get out to Mission and enjoy some of the events they have to offer. I think you'll be happy you did. And in the meantime, take care and uh, peace out, everyone. Bye bye. A sense of community. Till the wax a place to be. A sense of community where you're free. Rolling through the mountains, rolling through the valley, rolling through paradise with me. It's multicultural. You're sure to see it all. 
Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see. Come party in the park, go dancing after dark. Chilliwack's the place to be, you'll see.